Jeannie and John Alcott welcome you to Word of Power broadcast today. This message can equip and empower you to achieve and receive what God has for you. We believe by the end of this teaching and time of prayer, you will feel the power of God in a greater way. You'll sense how near He is and how He desires to help you. As God's presence and anointing touches you, receive the miracles and answers waiting for you. We encourage you to contact us at the end of this broadcast. Jeannie and John are ready to pray in faith over your life. Now, receive a word of power. Welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. This is Jeannie Alcott. Today we're going to talk about how strong you feel. Do you feel strong this Friday? Or are you facing something that makes you feel a bit weak? If so, then you probably aren't going around saying, I feel so strong today. You aren't saying it because you don't feel it. Yet did you know you have the one inside you who is assigned to give you strength this day and every day? In John chapter 14, Jesus said the Father has sent the Holy Spirit to become your strengthener, and He will give you so much power that you can march right into the victory you need. You don't have to break down or become overwhelmed. You can get to the place where you're trying to be. You see, as God has been speaking to you in this message about making your march to victory, realize that on the outside you may not always appear to be a strong, mighty soldier marching into war. But even if you don't appear so strong and mighty on the outside, that's how you appear on the inside. In spite of how you appear on the outside, what's going on inside you is what matters. If you purpose inside that you will make the march and you're going into what you desire, then God will give you everything you need to make it. Don't worry how you appear, feeling weak or frail, in need, not much influence or resources. Can't make something happen. It doesn't appear you're marching anywhere. Don't worry about how you appear. God will give you strength as you rely on the strengthener sent to help you. But let's talk about how we may feel right now. This is the reality of how we appear sometimes when we're facing a hard day. On the outside, we may feel that we are as this woman did who seemed anything but strong. But God sent her a strengthener to help her get where she wanted to go. This woman is older and she was by herself on a Southwest Airlines flight. It was the first time she'd flown in 15 years and so she was nervous. But she was willing to do it because it was her birthday and she wanted to visit her children and their families. So in spite of being afraid, she boarded that plane and made herself ready for takeoff. That's what you do sometimes. In spite of being somewhat nervous about something, you go ahead and you board the plane. You prepare yourself for takeoff. That's because you believe God will send everything you need. You're going to make this. You will make the trip and get where you desire. But you may not always feel as if you're up for it. And this is why God sends the Holy Spirit as the one to give you strength. And He does that in many different ways. You see, the strength that God gives us by the Holy Spirit can manifest itself in different forms. For this older woman, the Lord provided a strong young man sitting next to her. So when the plane started to take off, she turned and asked him if it would be okay for her to take hold of his hand during the takeoff. He was happy for her to hold on to him because he saw the fright that she was fighting. You know, just because we're believers and we have faith doesn't mean we don't have to fight fright. But the key is to know that we will win over it. We will come out of it. And God wants you to hear this right now. You will come out of this and be okay. Fight the fright and keep marching into your victory. He is providing every amount of help you need to make this happen. He sent that man to sit right next to that woman to help her feel that she had support and so she could be calm. He would talk to her to help her stay at peace. And when the plane hit turbulence and she would grab him again, he explained what was happening. He was there for her. Well, thank you, God, for the people and resources that you send to be there for us when we don't feel strong. You see, it isn't a weakness to admit you don't feel strong. This is why God tells us in Joel chapter 2 that the weak are to say they are strong. It doesn't say that the strong are to say they are strong. It says the weak are to say it. It's talking about us, the weak ones, the times when we don't feel strong. God wants you to say you are strong. Yes, you have human weakness, but you can say you are strong in God. In the message version of that scripture in Joel, it says, We are tacked this way. It reads, 
Let the weak one throw out his chest and say, I'm tough. I'm a fighter. So even when you feel weak, rise up and say, I'm tough. I'm a fighter. I'm strong. Now, will you appear that way on the outside? Maybe not. But you see, even in her fear and apprehension, this woman was doing that very thing. She was determined to make that flight in spite of fright. Make the flight in spite of fright. God will give you the strength so you can. He will provide for you. After that plane was set down at her destination, as she was getting off, this man carried her bag for her and helped her get off. And when she was confused about where her daughter was who was going to meet her, he stayed there until someone arrived. Everything went great. Everything can turn out great in spite of how weak you feel. As prayer and faith go forth, the Holy Spirit rises up inside you and infuses you with the strength you need. Don't try to have dependence on yourself alone. Grab hold of God, just as that woman grabbed hold of that man during that plane trip. Believe he is there to help you and guard you and raise you up. There's another woman I want to tell you about who believed this, and she was raised up in a tremendous way. We just heard about this story from one of our ministry partners. She'd gotten in touch with us to pray for this woman in her church. She said things appeared, in her words, pretty grim. The woman was suffering from a health issue, and it came to the point that her foot and her leg had turned to gangrene. So it seemed the surgeons were going to have to remove it. That woman was suffering so much that she had stopped talking and stopped eating. So we came into a prayer of agreement with our partner for her, and also her church was praying. You know, it's very powerful when our ministry joins with a church to pray for someone. I encourage you pastors out there who are hearing me, and we have pastors who contact us to say they hear these messages. I encourage you that when you have someone in your congregation who needs prayer, we can join you in agreement for them. And all that faith going out there together is very powerful. So we were praying and joining this church to believe this woman would be strengthened and raised up. She was in such a weak state from not eating and talking and not being able to move that she had to have the strength in her. Now the update we've received is this. Our partner called and said it was almost shocking. It was so amazing. This woman is eating, she's talking, and she's been released from the medical facility, and she even came to church. So our partner was thanking us for joining them in prayer. Now we can't argue that that suffering woman had been weak. But she could say inside herself, I am strong. I'm tough. I'm a fighter. I'm going to march into my victory. You see, God sent people to strengthen her and believe in her behalf and agree in prayer and faith. He answered prayer, and she's been raised up from that terrible condition. She came out of it, and you can come out of the conditions you're facing. In spite of how weak you feel, say, I am strong. Then allow the strengthener inside you to empower you to march into your victory. And God has sent us to believe in your behalf, just as he sent us and others for that woman. So we're going into prayer now. And believe as we do that you are strong. You have the help of God to help you march into your victory. So let's pray. Now, because of the Holy Spirit you have given us, Father, we say we are strong. My friend is strong and able. It doesn't matter how they feel on the outside. On the inside, you are giving them everything they need to come out of this well. Oh, conditions will change. We're going to see a great victory. The enemy has tried to convince my friend this isn't going anywhere. They aren't succeeding. They cannot come out ahead. But he is wrong. And we call him what he is, a liar. And now we embrace your truth. My friend will see these conditions change. They're going to come out of this okay. In spite of any fright or concern or apprehension, they make the march. They know you have victory designed for them, and so they won't be denied. They expect to be healed, to prosper, to grow and mature. They expect miracles and amazing favor and finances. What has come against them that's wrong will be turned. The heart of the king is in your hand, and it will be turned to have favor on them. That is such good news. They're going to see the answers to their heart's desire. We believe you're doing such great work, and we receive it. We believe for it. In the name of Jesus, amen. 
Oh, allow God to speak deep inside your spirit that He's sending you strength. He has sent us to come alongside you and help empower you by joining our faith. That's what we do when we hear from you. We agree in prayer and faith. So I encourage you right now to take a few moments to either call or write or go to our website. Share with us and tell us how you need to see the strength of God. What do you want to see done? As soon as we hear from you, we're going to pray and do some spiritual warfare. Hey, when we come together, you and we are strong in God. So let us hear from you soon. We're also going to write to you and give you some words straight from God's Spirit. They are for your life and they can minister deep into your need. So we can't wait to hear from you. Now at this moment, I'm asking every believer to pray because I'm talking to a dear friend about their eternity. My friend, this is your moment, the most important moment in your life. You can accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. And when you do, you'll have the promise of eternal life. But also, He has such good plans for you to walk in now. So my husband John is coming to help you do this. Oh, dear listener, have you come to the place in your spiritual life where you know for certain if you died tonight, you would go to heaven and have eternal life? If you answered no to that, I know I have the best news that you'll ever hear. You see, God has put everything together for you. He has it ready for you. The step you must take is to trust God to set you right instead of trying to be right on your own. The job is too big for you. It is something only God can do. Trust Him to do it for you. You can never do it on your own, no matter how hard you try. Trusting Him to do it is what gets you set right with God. It is a sheer gift. Receive that gift from Him now. Say, Father God, I believe in your Son, Jesus, that He paid the penalty for my sins and purchased a place in heaven for me. I trust in His work and not my own works. I receive it as a free gift. Forgive me for my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, it's so tremendous what you just did. You now can spend eternity in heaven, and you can experience so many blessings and good things from God now. So be sure to pray to Him, read His Word, keep hearing these messages, and go to a Bible-based church. Develop that relationship with God. Also, we encourage you to contact us. We want to pray for you and send you some materials to help you. So contact us soon. Okay, here's our spiritual power line. Go around saying these mighty words of faith. And as you do, feel the strength of God entering into you. Go around all day off and on saying, I'm marching into my victory. I'm marching into my victory. And we're going to help you make that march by sending this message to you. Just ask for your march to victory. It's offer number AM819. That's 819. You can have a CD of it for a gift of $8 into the ministry. Or you can download it from our website for a gift of $5. Just call or write or go to alcopministries.org. That's A-L-C-O-T-T Ministries dot O-R-G. Okay, next week is going to be a good and powerful week in God. I really encourage you to join me. This is Jeannie Alcott. Until next week, God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. We believe God's Spirit is moving in a mighty way. So don't miss the opportunity for Jeannie and John to pray over your life in a personal way. As you share with them, They will intercede by faith for you to receive all God has for you. Call 918-459-9191 or write to Alcott Ministries, Post Office Box 3400, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma 74013 or go to our website at alcottministries.org. That's A-L-C-O-T-T ministries.org. There you can also listen to Word of Power broadcasts as well as request special gift offers and be blessed by devotionals. Now, we encourage you to get a copy of this message and give a gift into God's work. Then, expect Him to grow your giving into wonderful miracles. Be with us next time for a word of power.